Hello and welcome to this presentation on how to start writing your personal statement. My name is Ali and I'll be taking you through some of the key things to remember when writing a personal statement. This presentation will be part of a wider series called Get Started, run by the Access and Engagement team here at Birkbeck, so keep an eye out for more. So, who are we? Birkbeck's Access and Engagement team work to ensure that students from underrepresented backgrounds receive the support and guidance they need to get into higher education. We work from both our central London campus and Stratford campus and run free events, lectures and workshops. The students we work with are of all ages and backgrounds, but all have one thing in common. They're interested in studying at university. How do we do it? We're there for students who may face some barriers or challenges to succeeding at university by providing information, advice and guidance, as well as empowering and advocating for those students. We want to help you make the right decisions for you. Today, what we will be covering is letting you know what makes a good university personal statement and helping you to make a solid start on your own one. Personal statements are slightly strange things to write, as they require you to write about yourself, which not many of us are used to doing. It might feel unnatural or embarrassing to you, which is why we're trying to make sure we cover how to structure it and what to include, so you feel as comfortable as possible writing it. Firstly, we're going to take a look at the most important thing, the subject that you would like to study. It's okay if you haven't decided what that is, or you have a couple of different things you're interested in. Researching the subjects will often help you to make that decision as well as informing your personal statement. Before starting your statement, it's always good to know as much as you can about the subject you're interested in. Obviously no university expects you to know everything there is to know, as otherwise there'd be no need to study it. What they're looking for is a basic knowledge of your subject area, combined with a passion to learn more about it. So, how can you get that knowledge? There are all sorts of ways, ranging from reading articles in specific magazines to listening to podcasts. Many of these options are free. For example, Birkbeck hosts a free lecture series called Big Ideas, which not only helps prospective students to learn more about their subject, but they can also give them a taste of what a university lecture is like. However, if you can't get to these for whatever reason, there are also a variety of free online courses available from websites such as FutureLearn. Once you find something that really grabs your interest, note it down and where you got it from. You can then use this as an example in your personal statement to show that you've been researching your subject. Now you've got a bit of subject knowledge under your belt, it's time to have a go at writing your personal statement. We've put together a bit of a grid here with both what is good to cover in your statement as well as some common mistakes. Now we've covered subject knowledge and background reading, so what else is there to include? Up there at the top would be relevant personal experiences. These can be from your work experience, but they don't have to be. Is there anything that has informed your decision to study this particular subject at university level? Focusing on your strengths? It can be really easy to be modest when talking about your achievements, but in a personal statement, it's important that you focus on what you're particularly good at and how it will help your study. However, you can include challenges you faced and how you've overcome them. This doesn't mean weaknesses. It refers to things you may have struggled with but have managed to overcome, as this shows that you have resilience and that you're committed. Examples from your studies that highlight your skills. Whether you've just come out of education or whether it's been a while, there will be examples that you can draw upon from previous study. Remember, this does not have to be from school or college. If you've studied by yourself, this definitely still counts. It can be that you have really good attention to detail or you're great at analysing things. And finally, highlighting relevant skills you developed from your interests or hobbies. I mean, everyone has a life outside of studying, so have a think about some of your hobbies and interests and what sort of relevant skills you develop from them. It might be that you've become a really good communicator through playing a team sport, for example. Now we've thought about what to include in your statement, 
it's time to focus on how to write about the specific examples that you've chosen. We usually recommend that people use the PEE -E method, which stands for Point, Evidence, Explanation, as this is an easy way to remember to structure your examples. So how does it work? Firstly, you make your point by saying what you did. Then you expand on it using evidence that proves that you have gained skills and knowledge from your experience. Finally, you explain why those skills are relevant to studying your chosen subject. Take a read of the chosen example on the slide to see how this prospective student has split their paragraph into the PEE -E method. We now have some examples for you from personal statements that we've received at Birkbeck. Take a read through and see if you can see where the point, evidence and explanation fit into this BA history statement. As you can see with this example, the student has chosen to write about the fact they're working on an online course that they are particularly interested in. That is the point. They give evidence by expanding on what they've been learning about and then explaining why it has made them want to study history at university level. In this second example, the student does the same except this time they have chosen to talk about a specific event that sparked their interest in their chosen subject, economics. Once again, there is a point, evidence and explanation. So, it's time to think about starting a statement. Don't worry, it will feel daunting at first and you'll probably stop and restart a few times, but remember, it's your statement, so it's important that you make it personal to you. As you can see on the slide, we've put together a few ideas to help you start. Birkbeck also has a personal statement tool available on our website, which has step-by-step -step guides to writing a statement, as well as a checker service for prospective undergraduate students where you can send your statement for tailored feedback. Now, it's over to you. If you have any questions for us, you can email us via the Get Started email address on the slide. Good luck, and we look forward to reading some of your personal statements in the near future.